Welcome to Florida Water Plants. Join me for my bedroom plant tour. Hi. Oh man, I don't have one. <laughs> so, every plant channel has tour videos. So, here's our first one. So, welcome to my bedroom. Now, my room may not be as planty as you have anticipated, but all that means is more room for plants later. So let's just get started. So my bedroom is boho, planty vibes, and it's so chill. You can just sit there and vibe, and I love it. That's my robe that I put on first thing every morning. But this is the first plant of the bedroom tour, and it is a snake plant from Ikea. I've had for about a year and a half, and it's grown a lot in that time. It's in this basket from Amazon, which matches my room perfectly. Just some wall art there. And this is my Ram lamp from Target that I've had for a few years and um, Team Aries, obviously. But next to that is a Manjula Pothos that I've actually had for a couple years. And it's been living in this glass jar which plants can live that way, but they don't flourish. So it is time I am giving this plant an actual pot soon. This chair was an Facebook market find and I love it so much. I was really excited to find that. And the throw is actually a curtain and planting pillows because those count as plants too. And on to my favorite part of my house, my bed of course with more planty pillows I decided to give white bedding a try and I do not regret it these are the highlight of my bedroom my pothos chandelier and they are such a vibe at night I really do love them and they were really simple to make just a hanging plant and a macrame hanger and some battery operated fairy lights and there you go and they are remote controlled so i can control them without even getting out of bed so on the other side of the room I have this Begonia Ace Tusa, I believe that's the name of it, but it's a little bit struggly. It does not enjoy the winter time, it does not enjoy the furnace being on. As you can see, it's kind of has some browning leaves, so I think I may move it to the greenhouse. Poor thing. It's not happy, but it's a fuzzy plant, so it always has lint and dog hair on the leaves. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> These windows uh, behind the plant are north facing by the way. So even though there's two windows, the room just gets okay light for plants. But here's yet another pothos in a glass jar. And it's doing okay, but yes, it's not thriving. And I will be putting this in a pot sometime soon. My manjula pathos used to be hanging from that hook, but I moved it. And this is one of my favorite pieces in the room. It is my body form face from Urban Outfitters and the dish is a Zodiac dish from Urban Outfitters as well. So I just put whatever cuttings I have in there. Peace, that's me. And that's me as a baby. <laughs> the dresser is from Ikea, by the way as is the nightstand and the bed frame. And this is a painting that my BF painted for me. So shout out to BF. And this is a fernwood snake plant. Here I just used two wooden crates stacked together to make a plant stand. Here 
here on this dresser is my soccer Ikea greenhouse. And that is also an Ikea lamp with the grow light bulb inside. And it's clamped onto the dresser. But in there we have a Peru with the struggle leaf. Back there is a style Donata. She's on the struggle bus, as you can see. Not a single leaf, just a runner. Hopefully she'll get her life together. A Milano Chrysum that I love so much. She's doing beautifully in there. That red leaf. Oh. And my two babies. My two album monsteras that I actually got as nose at the same time. So you can see one really took off while one's taking its time, but that's all right. You know, you can't rush beauty. I use damp moss in the bottom for humidity. And as you can see, it does a good job of keeping it pretty humid in there. So that little hack was working out. Now let's move on to my bathroom. In my adult life, I have not had a bathroom with a window. So as soon as we moved into this place, I knew that I was gonna put as many plants in here as possible. And I don't think I'm done yet. This is my booby towel hanger that I also got from Urban Outfitters. And I think it's so cute. Have several plants hanging from the shower and they are neon pothos and wandering dude and those are just plant hangers that you use to hang plants from a fence so they work great on my shower and the neon pothos is so long I'm getting ready to chop and propagate that and this is a big boy wandering dude that I have hanging right above the bathtub and it will hit you in the head when you get in there Snow Queen Pothos, one of my favorites. And you can see that I did propagate her so that she can get a little bit more full. So I'll be putting those propagations in the pot once they get some good roots going. See some little roots there. Shouldn't be long. And this is a Brazil. It's it's kind of reverted, so there's some reverted leaves and some non-reverted leaves, but I think they look kind of cool mixed together. And this is a night owl Sansevieria down there. Over here we have a snake plant Laurentia, I believe, and a baby one over there. And down here is my peace lily, y'all, the bane of my existence. I cannot get this plant together. Constant browning leaves. But it used to be in my bedroom and it does actually look way better in the bathroom than it did in the bedroom. So that's something, right? It actually lives in the bathtub most of the time. But when I'm using the bathtub, it goes over here on this stand. And up here I have this shelf and y'all, the mirrors stick to the wall and they fall constantly so I need a new solution for that but those just are a lot of cuttings that I have golden pothos monstera and insonii uh, heartleaf phyllos and satin pothos and they all live in water over here so oh and wandering dude and over here on the toilet I have a string of pearls that is absolutely thriving because it's fake and that is my secret to having success with String of Pearls. <laughs> I'm not so good for fake plants. I do think they have their place. And that is it for the bathroom. So that's my bedroom plant tour. I hope you enjoyed and got a bit of inspiration from it. 
Now, I do have some plans for this space right here. As amazing and cute as this IKEA soccer greenhouse is, it's time for the upgrade. So I got a Mills Bowl cabinet that I will be converting into a greenhouse and putting in this space. So if you want to follow me on that journey and see what the end result is, be sure to stay tuned to this channel. And of course, thanks for coming to shine some light on our space. We'll see you next time. Salute. Peace out.